everybody, it's Julie, and today I want to work in the Angel <laughs> Journal. So we're going to do some pages. We're going to start with our napkin page. Okay, so I have pulled out some things to use, and this is the napkin that I pulled out. It was from Happy Mail, and so I am going to use that. I think we'll use it on the back of one of the pages you know what let's do it on the back of this page okay so we have this is the angel kit it's the brand new angel kit it has pages it has ephemera postcards little tiny ephemera it has the angels in several sizes um, this is the six pack and you've got these postcards that can also be used as pages. So, um, yeah. And then you've got, um, it came upon a midnight clear. You have the full page of that and you have the mini journal kit that is all of the side by side pages, um, smaller. So you can make a mini journal kit if you wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and put all these things over here. And to start with, we're going to go ahead and add napkin to this page. So as you all know, we go ahead and do the napkin. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's embossed. We can use this piece as our embossed page. Okay, so we'll see. Maybe maybe this page. Whatever one works works better. So it is an embossed napkin. You see the print on there? So um so we'll do that one next. Okay, so do I want lines? I think I do. I think I do. Um I might make I might make this hard for myself. You've been known to do that before, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I have my glue stick here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this down all the way around the edge. And I didn't I didn't open it enough. Okay, gotta work fast because this drew this glue right here dries quickly. Okay, and go around the edge one more time and ready, set. Okay, now come over here. And start on this side. It's like we did go down, we touched, we touched down a little bit over on that side. Okay, there we go. So that is my napkin page, and I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. Okay, set that aside and let it dry. And we then we'll come back and I need to add an embellishment or enhancement to it. You know what? We'll go ahead and cut this off. And I just I just wanted I wanted to get a start on this one. I'm gonna be using um, this is going to be my actual idea book. Remember, my other one I'm using <laughs> as my December daily, um, the Christmassy one that I'm making. So this will be my idea book or idea journal. Okay. And you know what? I have... 
these amazing stickers that I got at Dollar Tree. And I think if we use some of this, we can go ahead and um, this says smile every day. And I think it's a sticker also. It's been a while since I've used these. Okay. okay. And then the gray. Oh, I think I should do the, I think I'll do the, the leafy leaves here. Okay, okay, and then I'm going to put that like that, and I'm going to come to the Winter Follies, so that's the other kit that I'm going to be using in here. Now remember, Winter Follies, the base of it was newsprint, so it is going to print newsprinty, <laughs> plus um, I'm out of ink, so... I have other issues happening. I think we'll go ahead and we'll go with her. And I'm going to go ahead and use the, nope, long scissors. I'm going to use these scissors. My postage scissors. So this is the small ephemera page and we can make stamps out of these okay so yeah so this is winter follies it is a digital kit also it has um the zigfield zigfield follies from this playbill and it has it has them in a variety of sizes and different different things okay but we also have some fun snowy things going on and a, a nice plain page so yeah so that's what we've got going on remember we have to use 12 full pages of dear julie julie digitals in a creative way <laughs> throughout our journals and I think this is going to, to do a good job with that, okay? And we're gonna put that right up there. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on here and glue on my sticker. Okay, so I have a napkin page. And this, um, this idea book, we're supposed to be able to continue to add ideas to it. And so that is my embellishment or enhancement and my napkin page. Okay, and since I am using one of the pages from the angel kit one of the side-by-side -side pages that counts as one of my pages I can go ahead and mark that I'm gonna write angel and digi one okay so I will have used one angel one angel digi now I might go ahead and go around this with the gold pen um, I think that that would be a great thing to do. Um, so I'll go around this one at least. Still waiting for the, the thing to dry. I did this on, I've done this on several journals. Okay, I'm not really happy with the way that one is going. Let's see. 
to use a new one. This is the one I just pulled out. Okay. So this gives me, I mean, I'm adding an idea to my idea journal. Okay. So your idea journal is supposed to be so that you can put things in it and then go back and go, oh yeah, I like that. I want to try that or I can add that to this journal and we'll go ahead and clean up this edge. Still, still a little wet. I think we should probably wait. Okay. Okay. But that gives that and that. Okay. First page is done. So next I have some shelf liner. And I think this is going to be a great color to use with this. And it gives me a whole lot of paper as well. Probably, probably had some left over from the last time I used this, but that's okay. Well, let me show you what you missed. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we finished the page that you saw me working on. Um, I added the napkin here and I made a little collage here as the embellishment for that page. I do still need to... Um, to cut around the edge, I did also go around this edge with the gold pen on just the one side so far. But that is my page one. Then I did. I took the inside page of that napkin and it was embossed. And so I've added it to, this is um, drawer liner. And so I took it out and cut it to be the si same size as my pages. And I have added the napkin to the drawer liner. And then I added this piece of trim, a piece from the drawer liner that was a scrap I had. And then this was from the Angel Digital. Enjoy to the world. That is from um, the Tim Holtz uh, paper pad that we've been trying to use up. Okay, next was my stenciled page and it's on another um dear julie julie page from the angel kit and so i got to cross off two pages out of the 12 that i need to use in this journal i stenciled it i used my yatsu tomo and company stamp pad in gold from japan and it just has a light shimmer and then over here i added a piece of a wallpaper scrap to the edge so it actually does come off the edge then i used um well the the trim piece from or the scrap from here and made a little tab use that gold that I'm, I'm using throughout this um idea journal and another one of those so i have the idea of adding um a piece of scrap to the edge of the paper here i have the idea of adding a, a trim edge with a little collage on the trim edge, okay? Here I have the idea of the little collage because this is an idea journal. So I personally, I want all of these to have an idea, um, not just be the page. So this is my dyed page. It's an avocado and lace dyed page. And I went ahead and I used my um, fancy scissors and I cut where the doily ended and then I took my pin my pink pin um, from Dollar Tree and I added it to the edge it actually comes out kind of purpley but it's gonna work fine for this journal and so that gives me that page and so the the dyed page 
gives me the idea that, oh yeah, I can use a dyed page. And then this gives me the idea that I can cut along the edge of something and, um, and use that in the journal as well. So this was my stack of sticker. So I went ahead and I took my sticker and I used the quickie glue pen. Okay, so this is the quickie glue pen. And this is the pinpoint roller. And I did little curly cues all over the, the sticker. And then I took the um, gold leaf paper um, or foil and I put it on top of it and I pressed it in and then I let it dry and then I took a brush and this time I used a it's a pretty sturdy brush there's still gold in it but it's a it, this is a stencil brush to get the gold out of the pieces and then um, it gave me this now when I pressed it down the glue went inside a lot of the squiggles. Okay, so that's what happened is when I pressed it down, we ended up. But I have this gold sticker and then I layered these pieces on top of it and I've added it to this piece of, it looks like homemade paper. It's actually, uh, excuse me, a print. It's computer paper. It is textured. And I did add the gold to the edge here. Okay, so I have five of my 12 pages finished and we'll go ahead and continue and see how many we can get done. So if you have questions about these, put it in the comments after the video and I will answer your comments there. I do still need to cut the napkin pages. Um, it, even though they are, they feel like they're dry, they're still damp at the edge and it, um, it plays, it messes with the scissors. So, okay. So going on to our next page. So next I have masterboard collage and you guys remember way back when we did the masterboard I'm going to use this one. Okay. So, um, we did this, we did a masterboard roll on, um, on book pages. I think it was the all about that base junk journal challenge. <laughs> and part of, for the challenge for me this month is to use up some things that haven't gotten used up. And that is one of my things. So I'm going to go ahead and put this through and you know, I think the peach is going to be okay in this. And if it's not, then I can go ahead and um, cover it, right? Because we have a little bit of peach. Um, so that's going to give me that. And then I've got, I've got, still got this. And I think I still have another piece somewhere that I just, I always forget to use it. So it's out so that I'll use it. And we're going to go ahead and cut this side down to eight and a half because I think we are a nine inch page. How sad. We're going to lose the ticket. Here we lose the numbers. Okay, if we go if this, we're going to do two, two cuts instead of one. <laughs> so we don't lose this whole thing of music on this side up here. And then we're going to turn this over and we'll go to eight and a half and hopefully we don't lose the numbers. Ooh. And 
Okay. So we didn't lose the numbers. We didn't lose the music. Looks like it should be in this direction. And we are going to use this as a page. Wow. Something might be. Okay, so you've seen how we make a master board. If you are um, curious or need need help with that, then go ahead and um, check out Dear Julie Julie Master Board. And it should come up. Okay, you know what? We did not... We did not cut, this did not cut straight on the, on the music side. Okay. So we're going to cut it, cut it again. Okay. There we are at eight and a half. Put it down. Eight and a half. not very much so it's, it's going to give me a hard time there we go we should be straight now we should be straight now so yeah I think I made this I was thinking when I made the uh, the journal that had the three journals inside of it, um, the yayas, spring spring yaya kit. Okay, let's measure seven to fifteen and more. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be my uh, master board piece, and you can see all of the wonderful things that are in it. This is a digital coloring book. Um, Edith Holden. Some. I wonder if I still have that. It's a really great tissue paper. There's a ticket. There's from a crossword puzzle. Uh, this might be... Um, Thomas guide so yeah so we need to go ahead and add an embellishment um, or embellish this page in somehow and um, well another thing that we can do I was gonna make a sticker tab but I don't want to oh, let's use this Memories were made today. Okay, now for the other side. Okay, so we're going to make a tab.
saw the bubble come up. So I was like, oh, it, it did open itself. Okay, that'll give me on one side. Okay. don't want it to stick out too much that's been one of the things I've done is I've made them where they they stick out too much okay so that'll stick out and then we'll put this over it So this goes down on both sides. Okay, so adding a little tab out of a scrap of paper even. Pretty cool. So we add a scrap out of a piece of paper. Okay, and that is my master board page. Next, okay, I think we'll go with another Dear Julie Julie page. Actually, you know what we need is, not need, but I have this um, paper pad, Prima, um, and it's got some really cute little angels that I want to make sure I, I don't forget to use because, you know, it's December, don't forget. So we're going to use one of these. does have Santa. Okay, we need eight and a half. Oh. Oh. Cutting off their foreheads. <laughs> pay more, pay attention. Don't, don't cut them Okay, so I've got this piece. Look how cute that, that looks with that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in with my page stuff. And what I did was I cut it, it's eight and a half by 12. And it's a cute little deer one. Um, this one also has angels and deer. And the back is a cute blue um, polka dot. Okay. We'll pay more attention to this one. Because it can be shorter. It doesn't have to be eight and a half. Because if it's eight and a half, we're cutting right through them. So we'll go down so we're not chopping off any deer heads or any angel heads. Okay, so it'll be a little 
a little bit shorter of a page and that's okay. Okay, so I have one that I'm gonna be able to use um, as uh, for an, an ensemble. And then I'll have this one. And let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll fold it this way. We've got the angel. I like that. Okay. Try and get it like sort of in the five inch. Okay, so there we go. just a little bit over five inches okay so we have this page that is is also ready and Oh, we almost did that. We could have could have folded that over and it could have been right on top of each other and lined up. Okay. So for this one, I am going to do my creative ink and sponge. If I can find my, yeah, there's my sponge. Okay. And I'm going to need this. We're gonna do this right on top of what we've got going on here. Okay, one, two, make sure we're in, in it, three, So we're just changing up, changing our paper up here a little bit. I think that that's cool. And we've got just a light gold to it. Okay, so you could do this for the back of, um, you know, like the Dear Julie Julie Digital. But I think that is amazing and it is really cool that it just lightly does it so another thing you guys could do if you're doing christmas okay you can go ahead and do this and then go around your your balls here And turn them into ornaments. Okay, because you've got this great look down here where, um, on mine anyway, they are. They're darker around the edge. Just I just think that that would make a cool, cool little bulb. Okay, so yeah, so there is our um, stamped, creatively stamped, and so
Okay, I'm kind of thinking it might be a fun idea to um, to cut this like right a right a right there, but I'm not gonna do, not gonna do it. Um, but that's the kind of thing that you want to do because it's an idea. course you can add an edge here in the center but that's going to add more bulk and I'm really trying not to trying not to add bulk what if we got this can add that like it's a It's a tab, um, but you know me, I'm going to want to take this part off. This was, these were from Spectrum Art Creations. I really like the January, February. So you've got a place that you can circle Monday, put the year and the date. I like that. Okay, I'm going to put that in. Okay. I'm going to put it in and make it a pocket, of course, which means I'm going to have to fill it with something. I'm right here. I'm making sure that there's no glue in that center. Okay. Cause sometimes the strings come across and join each other. And then you end up with Go to come up above the deer. The deer always remind me of Olive. She has a very deer face. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll have a little place here for a little something. I'm going to put these in here. Um, because I do need to make embellishments. And I think that that will be a fun embellishment idea. Okay. Because we have to have, all of our pockets have to have um, something in them. That is not quite straight. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've added the little flap to our page, and it's actually got a pocket over here on this side. And I think that is really, really fun. And well, that's the dark blue. I was looking for some washi to add a, a washi down the edge. But we can do that when we get back, get to that pocket. Okay, so that gives us another page. And so, what do we got? We've got this one. That is our ink. And sponge creatively used. This is our stack sticker. 
This is the dyed paper, napkin, embossed, stenciled, and our master board. Okay, so we're over halfway there. And so, um, yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, remember the angels, digital, and the winter folly digitals are available in the Etsy shop. And um, along with over 150 other digitals. If you're looking for Valentine's, getting ready to think about that, or St. Patrick's, both of those are in the shop, and as well as a whole lot of other fun things. We have a beautiful blue winter that can be used for winter. Um, also, hollyhocks and daisies would make an amazing winter kit, lace grunge. Um, so do check those out. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.